Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. One of the hottest Latino actors on TV has landed a new gig as EJ Bonilla becomes the newest cast member of Amy's police procedural drama, Unforgettable. Bonilla will play Denny Padilla, a new team member at the Major Cases Division and a fast rising star within the NYPD. His character is a little rough around the edges, but with a quiet side with a gentle wit, kind of like Bonilla himself. And we have this rising actor coming up, ready to share a few of the show's secrets with us right here on American Latino TV. My name is E.J. Bonilla, and uh, I'm an actor. The, the Sicilian Atlantic City. Bro, this place opened like a month ago. I've been dying to go there. I lived in Brooklyn my whole life. I guess for a long time I was a kid who wasn't really sure what he liked. And when I was like in ninth grade, I got on stage for the first time and I loved it. And after that, I just, I pursued everything that was performance and all of it like started to feed me more. I'm ridiculously, ridiculously proud of where I'm from. And I'm also proud that I was, you know, courageous enough to do things like secretly be wearing tights under my jeans. So like I'd be walking in the city kind of like this and I'd go into Brooklyn and be like, yeah, it was good, you know what I'm saying? Hello, criminal. Man, you need to work on your gotcha lines. What are you talking about? That was classic. It was pretty weak. You see that? So Unforgettable is a show on A&E. It's a collection of detectives that have different specialties. Uh, the lead character is played by Papa Montgomery. She's a beautiful, fantastic girl who uh, has this, it's kind of like an ailment where she can't forget anything. I play a character named Denny Padilla. Denny comes from a organized crime background and he's really young. So to be a detective uh, by 28 and to be in the major crimes division of the NYPD is a huge deal. So I love it because he comes across as a goofball. So Denny kind of talks like this. You know, he's like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you're, you're a good looking guy. I like the rip in your jeans, you know, your headphones are nice. And you don't expect the intelligence, which is always fun. Hey, whoa, whoa, you don't want to evaluate the situation real quick? I just did. Unforgettable in a lot of ways has helped to change my life for the better. When my check for that first episode cleared, I had $40 left to my name. I never went through a dry spell of getting work and it not being able to pay my bills until about three years ago. And if I'm being fully honest, it was probably the hardest time in my life. And that for me was huge because it was a test to see whether I wanted this as badly as I thought I did. We do what we do for love. And when you love something, even if you try to step away, it's really hard to do that. Well, I was working construction, so I was like lifting up steel gate, directing traffic for 16 hours. Just like, yes, come back this way. Yeah, come on, you know? And for me, it was like, you have to be able to find happiness down here before you can really appreciate it when you're here. And that was a huge lesson for me. And I know now, more than ever, if, if this ever went away again, I would just work construction on the side and just having enough money to get to acting class and play with my friends there. Carrie Wells, wow. Wow, um, I'm a huge fan, oh. all right? Well, you saw that case, you know, when the Brady guy took over the skyscraper, yeah. you know, when that lady was gonna shoot, you know, the, the peace so doctor. Remember, yeah, <laughs> wow, it's always nice to meet a fan. I mean, I really, all I really, really care about is telling stories. I believe that stories change people's lives. For me, as an actor, I want to be given more and more the opportunity to be a character actor, because I'm tired of the, the world making me a Latino actor. So you only do this. You know, the more that I can say no to that, uh, the more and more I fall in love with this craft and the more I can stand the industry. I want to be the person that books roles that no one expected them to do. And I want to do it simply because I'm that good. I want to be so good, they can't tell me no anymore. <laughs>